Hello and thanks for listening. In this video we're going to talk about search engine optimization also known as SEO and um, we can get really really deep into this subject and this causes a lot of confusion for my clients but I'm just going to give you kind of a synopsis and the key points because to be real honest with you that's kind of where the uh, new new way of search engine optimization is going is to follow these certain principles and the algorithms of the search bots are basically looking for these elements in your website um, you might hear a lot of things about meta tags and keywords and uh, you know other things that well, h1 tags is another thing people talk about um, again it's getting to the point where these are less and less important um, because there's been too many black hat techniques or illegal techniques that people employ exploiting those things um, to try and get their page to be more easily viewed and ranked by the search engine so um, take this with you the most important thing you can do with your website as far as search engine optimization goes is to produce unique and meaningful purposeful content period and um, probably a close second to that is if you can constantly update your site or add that meaningful content to your site each day that'll even be better the reason why is the search engines especially Google they have they only have incentive to deliver search results to their users of websites that have value and a website that is nothing more than a page with a bunch of one-way links out to affiliates or other places really isn't a site that adds value to the user in fact it wastes their time it gives them another place they have to go before they end up where they want to be at Google doesn't have an incentive to, so sh to show sites like these nor does any other search engine but they do have an incentive to show sites that have meaningful content within them and most especially if that content is known to be updated daily on the site or frequently and let's kind of just go and review what that means unique content is going to be content that you write yourself now a lot of people and a lot of sellers on eBay try to sell websites that say hey you can get automatic content each day uploaded to your site without having to write a thing this is true but that's usually done in the form of RSS feeds um, the problem with RSS feeds is it is content okay so that is good but it is not content that is unique meaning there's other sites who also have the exact same words on there um, the Google bots and the search bots those are all smart enough to detect that just as equally they're smart enough to detect whether the page that you're creating or the pages you're creating are unique or if there's a copy of it somewhere else so to have RSS feeds on your site certainly is not a bad thing it's just there's you can do one better by creating new content all by yourself um, when it comes to RSS feeds be cautious though make sure that your software or your website or whatever program you're using does not use JavaScript the reason being JavaScript is not readable by the search engines only the output of the JavaScript is readable by the users which means the search engines only see the JavaScript code itself it does not see the actual words of the text so if you've got a JavaScript RSS feed that is populating hundreds of pages of your site it's all useless because it can't be seen by the search engines you'll need a server side language which is usually PHP that's really good so if the output or if your RSS feed is using a PHP parser that is good because that means the content the output will be seen as uh, as content by the search engines and that's what you want so that's going to be the number one way to have the most impact with the search engines is simply to make a website that has meaning meaningful and purposeful content now that's a lot easier said than done um, in other parts here we talk about content creation and kind of some methods to do that I uh, typically tell you to start where you know with things that you know most about um, but that is going to be the sites that are going to be rewarded by the search engines the most are sites with unique content that have meaning and gives value to the users period now there are some other things that we don't need to ignore like meta tags like h1 tags um, and what, what are we talking about there well I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this page and view the source and here in all this nasty code when this pops up basically what we're looking at is this meta tag here this is keywords content and it gives the keywords that I have associated with my website um, that is important because basically what that does is it tells the search bots immediately what is your page about 
And the next thing it does is it looks to see if those words that you have in your meta tags also show up in the nat natural text, the actual words you wrote on your website. So as a general rule of thumb, you want your keywords and key phrases to be basically the top 10 most used vocabulary words found on that page. Because keep in mind, it's not just optimizing a website. You can actually optimize and you want to optimize each and every page. That way, each and every page serves as a chance to be found by the search engines and not just your main domain name. So that's really all you got to do with your meta keywords. You know, people ask what should that be and there is, you know, firms that will charge you thousands of dollars to try and, you know, do keyword research and marketing and yada yada, okay? Um, it's, it's kind of a subjective thing. There really isn't a lot of measuring to see if that works or not, but if you want it to match what the meaning of your page is, then just take the top ten most used vocabulary words and make those your keywords and key phrases. Be careful not to go over 255 characters. I understand search engines will go ahead and ignore you after that. Um, because that is not used to uh, or not designed to add as much content as you want. It's designed to tell, again, a, a pool of keywords and key phrases that tell basically uh, what this page is about. The other thing to keep in mind is the titles of your page and also um, links on your page. Like for here, this isn't a good example, but I'll just tell you, please contact me to request a quote. Well, the word contact me is the text of the link, and then when you click it, it takes you somewhere else. You'll also want the links in your page to try and match the keywords and key phrases that you're, that you're using. So it doesn't matter where the link goes, just so long as the link actually has the text of one of the keywords or phrases. And finally, the last thing I want to talk about is external links and internal links and swapped links, okay? Um, these can lend to optimization and often do, but here's how they work. Uh, first of all, any links that you have out to another website don't do anything for you because any site can do that. If you swap links with other sites, that's better than a one-way link, but make sure you're swapping with quality sites because the search bots will actually judge you based on kind of the quality of your friends, the quality of the websites that you've swapped links with. Um, if it's a low-ranked site, brand new, doesn't have a lot of quality content, to swap links with them may actually hurt you. You don't want to do that. You only want to be interested in swapping links with other quality sites. So that way you'll um, be in a network okay, of quality links and the search bots will pick up on that. The best thing you can do is a one-way link to your site from someone else. Now those are harder to get and may take some creativity as to why you want to coax a webmaster with a really high quality site to link only to you and not provide a link back to them. But if you can do this, that lends greatly and serves you very well in terms of search engine optimization and getting ranked not only high in the in the pages but this usually lends to you lasting at that place longer um, you know I've had a lot of customers who hire these firms and sure enough they get you know number one position but it doesn't last very long it fluctuates well and they wonder why their competition can last longer than they do at the same spot the you actually use your I'm sorry the answer usually is that um, that site has a lot of one-way links coming back to them and what that tells the search bots is wow here's these other high quality sites that are telling their users go check out this other web page and so what that means is that your site obviously must be very important so keep that in mind when um, linking adding links to your site and when link swapping and also just in your overall general marketing because um, that's very important so again SEO is not that complicated it's not that hard nowadays the key is to create meaningful content period if you can do that then you're gonna have a successful website and then there's some other t tricks and tactics like I've just told you about the meta keywords and things that you also want to employ just out of prudent measures. But the bottom line is make a site that has meaning and adds value to your users and you'll be good to go on the SEO. So hope this helps and I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye.